Hi everyone, today I thought I'd do another pet menagerie video. As you can see it's Stitches Junior and my team is pretty much what I had back when we were doing Warlords of Draenor. So the Island Starlet in the first slot. I always like the Health P breed just because of the um, added amount of health that it has. And two leveling pets. So as you can see this is how I save the team. Whichever two are at the top of my queue. You can see I don't have many left to level thankfully. So let's see how we go. If you remember this is his um the buff that he has, he ignores anything that's less than 500, which is this move here. But I might actually use it just as a filler move. And then if you time it correctly, the Iron Starlet should die. at the same time that Stitches does so that your leveling pet should reap all the XP although it still won't be enough, I just did it a minute ago and it was only a thousand and something so this is where I would switch in my leveling pet looks like The level 2 is uh, a little too low to use, but there you go. Well, at least that's how you level 1 pet. That's still better than nothing. So how much was that? Yeah, 1,116. Not bad. Like, if you don't mind sitting here doing it over and over. Beats flying around Draenor, though I still like doing that because I like visiting my NPC. And you can always tell particularly if you're on one of my connected servers, so Dathramar or Kazgaroth. If you ever see a little Blinktron by my NPC in Overlook Ruins, you'll know that I've just been pet battling because I like to leave a little bonus for people who happen to, to be passing the area. So there you go. I think I'll uh, continue on my Draenor circuit and see how many of these pets I can level, probably just the two. And I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.